Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doom Breaker again, and I'm here with another video for you guys. So today was supposed to be a coding video, but um, due to me moving uh, my stuff to another room uh, to get some more space, um, well, I'm going to do uh, this short little video. Also, I'm getting uh, the new format for the tutorials kind of sorted out. So, um, but let's jump in today's video. So, um, today you might think, what the fuck is going on on his screen? Well, either that or you have read the title and you already know what we're going to do. So, today I'm going to review um, the uh, Visual Studio Express 2012 uh, for Windows Desktop, of course. So, um... For those who don't know, uh, the Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2012 is the next version of uh, the compiler that we used for all the previous um, Visual Basic tutorials and stuff. So, um, well, it is, um, I think it has been released yeah, probably a year ago. Um, and I have just installed it. Why I've waited so long, I have no idea, but I did. So, uh, first of all, the thing you can see is that the GUI is completely different. And, well, to be honest, it has a little bit more a Windows 8 feel to it. Um, as you can see, those um, buttons are more square than they used to be. Uh, the colors are also uh, pretty different. So I think it has a more Windows 8 feel of it. And that's also because um, this is the Windows desktop um, version. But you also have a Windows 8 version. And I think if they uh, had to remake all the GUI and stuff, it would be um, a lot more work for them. So um, that's why they did it like this. I think they did a great job even for uh, Windows 7. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start a new project. All right, so um, you can see some differences here. So um, previously we had to uh, click either Visual Basic, Visual C Sharp or Visual C++ in a different icon. Now you can do that all in the same uh, Visual Studio Express. I think you might might have been able to do that in 2010, but I'm not sure. But um, here you can uh, choose some templates. So uh, you can go Visual Basic, Visual C Sharp, or Visual C++. Then you have uh, Test in Windows. Of course, we are going to use Windows only, probably. Uh, and then you can um, do the standard Windows Form application. Now we are going to name it um, Review and click OK. So now that's going to generate. Also, this is a cool uh, new thing. In uh, Visual Studio 2010, you would just see your uh, cursor waiting. But now you can really see a dialog box showing that it is creating the project, which is a small um, thing but it is really useful so uh, one thing I've noticed is that the loading time is a lot longer than um, before I'm not sure if that has anything to do with um, the 2012 version but whatever so uh, then you have your basic windows of course the solution explorer the properties the toolbox data sources but one thing that I've noticed, and I think this is really cool, is that you now have more uh, menu items. So you have tests to debug stuff, a window, of course, tools and all that. And I think it's um, a lot better than um, the previous one, because in the previous one you had, um, I think it was build, but in build you also had debug and stuff. The only thing that I think is uh, a little weird is that debug and tests are not in the same menu. But then, uh, whatever. 
So I know that tests and debuggings aren't the same thing, but they should be in the same menu item for uh, what I know. So toolbox, everything now has a new icon. I think it's also, um, nope, it's just the same as uh, the old one. So you can also go to all windows forms and have everything here. So uh, let's drag in something, a button, which is uh, pretty basic. So the layout of the buttons is uh, still the same, which is something that I don't particularly like because since everyone is moving to Windows 8, I wanted to see some Windows 8 styled buttons and stuff. Maybe it's because I have a Windows 7 PC that's... Um, quite uh, possible but uh, even though I have a Windows 7 PC they should have been implementing the Windows 8 GUI um, just for funsies <laughs> so another cool thing and I can't really show it to you guys I think so um, oh this looks different <laughs> to be honest never seen this thing before um, hello <laughs> How do I get to... Hmm, so this is something that you will uh, encounter too if you're upgrading, not finding something. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's another project. If I go to review prop... Ah, this is it. So... Hmm. All right, so uh, these properties and these properties are completely different, but the key combination is still the same. So um, as you can see in target framework, we see .NET Framework 4.5. So it's a completely different framework. You can also switch to the older versions if you want to, but uh, Framework 4.5 is going to offer a lot of new um, stuff and um, stuff <laughs> so um, yeah everything still looks quite the same you have your resources your settings signing publish and all that if we can close that all right so um, I think that has been it so uh, that's like the most uh, noticeable changes that I can find right now. So uh, thank you guys for watching this uh, short review. Uh, once I've moved to my new room, uh, I'm going to make some uh, coding videos and hopefully improve the new format of the tutorials because I still need to uh, find something else um, as a background uh, track and uh, maybe um, figure out the tonality of my voice so it doesn't sound too much, as a subscriber said, TV commercially. Uh, <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, um, click the like button below. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing because we have just hit 250 subscribers. So thank you all for that. And I see you guys next time. Bye.